the other goes home a loser. Because in boxing, unlike most sports, gravity works downwards. You gotta be shitting me. Hey, listen to Derek Factory, don't shit on no one. But uh, I do like to piss on my seat. And uh, at my seat, too. Not really on it, so stay out of the way. <laughs> tell me, the five game, that ain't rigged, is it? Of course not. Hey, I'm Richard Burns, WCTR. Police say gang trouble is on the rise again, especially in Los Santos. Sources believe it is linked to the rising drug trade, while others blame the fascist pigs. Also in gang news, customs officials report a huge influx of Russian mobsters and cheap weapons since the fall of the wall. The governor's office said everything is okay. In Vinewood news, rapper Mad Dog was celebrating the launch of his new clothing line. Richard caught up with him. The thing about Mad Dog is, think about becoming a superstar. I mean, you know, I've done everything I can do in a rap game. I want shit hands down. Nobody can handle me, you know? Lifetime champ, no shit. I say shit. Oh, hey man, it's cool. That's cool. Okay, no shit. I got clothes. I got labels coming out, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing drinks. I got shoes, tires, rims. Thinking, you know, next day she's being a full-on superstar, you know? Get to wear a tight suit and nail a lot of tail. You think, you know what I do in real life? Gotta get me a drink though right now, cause I'm thirsty, you know? What a troubled man. Sounds like he should lay off the sauce. Also today, a Tourette's theater group banned from the park, unless they take up mine. And How could anything professional be fake? <laughs> hey, there's too much money at stake for one thing. I mean, these guys got too much to lose. I mean, why is a guy gonna take a dive for a few extra million when he could earn that over a number of years getting his brain turned to pulp? Be serious for a minute. The clock is counting down again. It's time for Derek to head to the locker room and celebrate in the shower. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bring a cooler full of beers and get ready to riot. This has been the Tight End Zone. Hot, 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 hot. I'm wearing a black dress on. And this is WCTR, proving that radio is better than TV. That's the show men with large guts love. Deal with your ignorance in one minute flat. Complex issues in 60 seconds. WCTR. You have any idea what I'm doing up here? Coming up the next, the most mind numbing thing since the lobotomy Entertaining America. While I'm looking down at this you. week on Entertaining America, Richard Goblin, one man's triumphant return to cock. The Sherman Octuplets, a Venturist man says he's slept with them all. Plus, noise, speed, danger, cursing, and patriotism finally come together this weekend at the All-America Drunk Driving Cup. Hi from Vinewood, you're on Entertaining America with me, Billy Dexter, bringing you everything that is important in culture and entertainment, if there is a difference between the two, from the heart of entertainment in America, Vinewood San Andreas. You with me, the Dex. Wanted to call the show Stack the Dex, but not yet. Kiff Lum. Anyway, great. Big show for you this week. Controversy, they'll be giving me a Pulitzer. Anyway, today we've got some great guests. First up, we speak to troubled action hero Jack Howitzer. Then we have a live phone leak up with a very special guest, Modern Day Lazarus, a man back from the grave now making it as an extra in major motion pictures. Then, I will explain the secrets of the universe to to everyone. But first up, stack the decks in which I, Billy Dexter, meet the entertainers in the news. Kiflum. Jack Howitzer, once the biggest star in America, but the last three years have been unkind. People describe him as a dinosaur, an action hero relic from the 80s, a muscle-bound Neanderthal, and my favorite, the most stupid gorilla in the jungle. Jack, welcome to the show. Kip Long. <laughs> Good to be here, Dex. Pleasure. So your movies Exploder and Annihilator got America through some tough times, and I was also a huge fan of, of Zero Seconds to Death Thank time you, day. thank you. But many say your new film has got on too far. No, this is a romantic comedy with drama. It's got action. It's got a heart. That's what's most important, I think. Okay, well, let's take a listen to the trailer. All right, let's roll that. He was a man at war with himself, fighting a war that someone else lost. It's over, Tim! The war's over! It's never over! You see him wipe up millions of Cambodians in Exploder. Now, Jack Howitzer is Tim in his most challenging role yet. We're here, Tim! A preschool for slow children? You're the new teacher, Tim! Special needs cop. Yeah! It's the story of a psychotic ex-Marine showing tough love to special ed kids. One of you Tards has been running Peruvian flake through the special ed school, and I'm gonna find it. No juice and cookies! No 
sucked him. But soon, he becomes one of them. Who is this? That's teacher's gun. You want to see it? Cool. Oh, you got it, shot yourself. Way to go. He was finally beginning to live a normal life. Then, all hell breaks loose. Tim, you're so stupid. You count with your fingers. You want to party with me? Bring it on! What are you doing? I fought for my country! Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches! Yeah! Special needs. And he lived until he was 32. So what I'm saying is, why can't we encourage more smoking and use the money to pay for better health care and some cultural programs? Bringing expressive dance and sun worship back to the inner cities. Worrying about the inner city has ruined your academic career. And this woolly thinking is going to ruin your chances of getting anywhere with me tonight. Yes. The thing is, smoking is good because it lets people make a lot of money. But so is selectively culling the population. So what I'm proposing is a change in the proposition. Let people smoke, but make cigarettes much cheaper and force everyone to smoke. That way we weed out the weak, well make a lot of money intact, and keep our national heritage intact. Line two, you're on I Say, You Say. Ha! Ah, I listen every time to your show. It really made me think about the world in a whole new way. I moved out of the city because it sucks. Now I live in a compound surrounded by barbed wire and shoot and kill anyone I don't recognize on my land. Just want to say thank you. That's some quality broadcasting. Yeah, thanks. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. Have you got a question? Yeah, I got corpses from 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I killed them all myself with my bare hands. Could I get a tax break for all this unpaid work? Good question. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then hide most of your net worth offshore in a complex money laundering system designed to support the drugs trade. Then you can pay virtually no taxes and complain about how awful you think the whole country is, knowing you're doing as little as possible to help. Cool, thanks. That's good advice. I'm appalled at you, Mary Phillips. Ugh, why? Because that man has a garden full of corpses and you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric thinking. You missed a wonderful opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation. Oh, God, give me strength. I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glamorous mm -hmm. with your long hair and big ideas. You were studying for a PhD in cultural ceramic history mm -hmm. or cross-cultural underwear or something, and I was very young. Very foolish. Mm. Now I see you for what you are. And what's that exactly? An intellectual cesspit. A middle class disaster. A guilt trip wrapped in neuroses and completely unable to function in this society. No wonder I've begun to sleep around. And on that note, we have to go visit our marriage therapist. There was a conniving bitch and won't write me any more prescriptions for painkillers. Remember, when the left wing and the right wing come together, <laughs> the country can really get going. Straight off a cliff. We'll see you next time. Boy, I can't imagine what those guys are like in the bedroom, but I'm sure it's a bit like the Bay of Pigs. That was I Say You Say. The news and all the other things that really matter to you, like people dying. A lady on fire. Bodies everywhere. An explosion. is hanging from the tree. This accident is really cool. WCTR. Sure that you'll live in a fortress and live your life worry-free. With my vindictive and backstabbing personality, I always knew I'd be successful. But there's a price to pay. Money gives me freedom. Freedom to be scared of things that normal people don't have to worry about. When it comes to people trying to get a buck off me or come knocking, I turn to outside Come. He had a lot to learn. This film cannot be rated. Wow, that's terrible. No wonder our studios are surrounded by protesters. How could anybody find that offense? No, no, Jack, it's appalling. Your insensitive portrayal of disabled people makes me physically sick. And the idea of you calling someone slow-witted is, frankly, laughable. Hold on, hold on. Drugs <laughs> are a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. Yeah, but you use drugs. No, 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 I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreational blow, but I got the funds for it. You know, I got the money. Yeah. Don't you think you're just a little out of touch? Whoa, 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 yeah. I'm rich and I work in Vinewood. We'll ensure that you'll live in a fortress and live your life worry-free. With my vindictive and backstabbing personality, I always knew I'd be successful. But there's a price to pay. Money gives me freedom. Freedom to be scared of things that normal people don't have to worry about. When it comes to people trying to get a buck off me or come knocking, I turn to outside help. Your home will be surrounded by only the best security equipment. Razor wire, Dobermans, landmines, night vision, and 
and motion sensors. And if a stranger or unwanted relative should make it inside, all of your doors will be wired with bombs. But what about when my children need to go to school? Your children will be equipped with bulletproof vests, and depending on if they attend public school, stun guns and mace. When you're successful, nobody wants to be bothered. I'll slaughter anyone who even thinks of harming my family with Executive Intruder Extermination Service. They do it for me. Call today for your free home demonstration. The world is a dangerous place. For you, it doesn't have to be. Up next, it's Area 53 and Marvin Trill, broadcasting live from his trailer in the desert. A new planet found in space. Is it really a planet or a decoy put up to confuse us? Ghosts, time travel, and the flushing toilet. Which way did Newton's toilet spiral? And finally, are women made for us? We explore deeper and get to the truth. I'm Marvin Trill. This... I see a lot of unexplained phenomena out there, especially in restrooms. I agree with you about the moon. We never landed on the moon. It's such a good fake. Remember, the... ...into space. The only thing the Russians are shooting into space are hot dogs and monkeys. Kind of a Noah's Ark fast food kind of vibe. Hey, my dad aunt could make a better space station than them. Intriguing. I'd like to meet her. On the conspiracy line, caller, you're in Area 53. Do not use fluoride. It's evil. It made me kill my doctor. Why would we worry about a chemical that the government puts into the water? Animals can now be trained to fly, including several species of bird. Think about the military applications. Hello, caller. Hi, my name's Emmanuel. I'm really worried about hackers sending a nuclear bomb after me, you know, through the phone. Do you think they could pinpoint my location? Look, it's good for the economy to live in constant fear. I mean, the phone company, they have your name on the bill. They know your number. How do you feel about that? I knew it. Hello, Julie from Liberty City. You're on the line. A cowboy ghost has been haunting my house. I want you to take off your blouse. Stand at the window. Stand there for hours each night. Lure him in. Trapping rogue spirits is dangerous work, especially... Take lots of photographs. All right, who's got a theory for me? Next. Hey man, love the show, but when are you guys going to start seeing the bigger picture? We're being lied to, man. And guys like you don't help much, you know? You're virtually one of them. Soon you'll know what I'm talking about. If people could please just attempt to make sense, that's all I'm asking. Last night, as I was laying in my pod medically, and it occurred to me, why are you even listening to me? Turn off all electrical devices, including your radio. Hector in San Garcia, why are you still listening? Because I was hoping you could explain these noises. What noises? God, not you too. Now think about the things we talked about today. Think, seriously think. Can it be real? Can it be false? We'll see you next time in Area 53. Careful out there, wherever you are. That was Area 53. We're sorry. The news and all the other things that really matter to you. Like sensationalist bullshit. Do you worry that nobody likes you? We'll provide you with friends. Back. Kiflam. I'm the Honorable Chris Formage. Covet your neighbor's ass no longer. The Epsilon program seeks out the convenient bits from every faith to create a religion that is uniquely American. Fact. Expensive, promiscuous, and entirely meaningless. Okay, I'm not out of touch. Action, weightlifting, and killing foreigners. That never goes out of style, Dex. My last film, okay, Loincloth, about a wrestler who's dropped into Thailand and I saved the world by teabagging the bad guys. That's a spiritual picture. That's love teabagging. That stuff ain't out of style. Yeah, things are more sensitive now. I was affected, all right, when Ho Chi got hurt and exploded. I mean, I, I thought it was time to do something. A film that made a difference. Hey, about Ho Chi was a character. Exploder was a movie. Right, right. And I was there. And I should have killed them all. Yep. Don't push me, Dex. I'll give you a war you won't believe. That look in your eye. Right here, right now. Okay. Oh, uh, um, Jack, Jack. Uh, all I'm saying is you launching missiles from a special wheelchair and killing innocent civilians is somewhat insensitive. There's never any innocent civilians in life. If the Reds roll down the street right now, what are you going to do? The Reds lost, man. It's, it's over. You can come home. I'll shoot those bastards with this. The family killer. Jack, Jack, put that away, please. What, this? It's a submachine gun. Come on. It's not serious. Oh, but you're Billy Dexter. Who put you up to this? Gorbachev? No, no. 
You should come down. I heard what you said about me. You think steroids shrank my genitals? No! No! You said no. it! Put the gun down! My balls? Please! I I'm sure you have huge ones. That's right! Please stop! Come on, they haven't shrunk. Touch them! No. Feel them! No! Come on, sniff no. them! Do something! No. Touch them! Touch them or die! No. They're still no. big! Oh, God. They're huge, That's Jack. That's right! Yeah, yeah. Mom! Easy! Hey. Don't grab them like that! Oh, boy, I was kidding! What are you, a boyfriend of mine or something? Hey, 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 hey! You had me scared there for a minute. I, 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 I crap myself. Take it easy, it's not even loaded. Ooh. Oh, I'm oh, Dex. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I guess it was. Oh, okay, Billy, don't get around. Get up, boy. Get up, come on. Damn it, his brain is leaking. Help! Oh, there's only one thing to do. I gotta defend freedom. No time to cry. Only time to die. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches! Who wants to hear about your problems? Hey, dude, that's show business, okay? It's about reality these days, not entertainment, okay? Because I gotta need a nanny. All parents need a helping hand now and then, sometimes full time. At Hampshire Nannies Limited, all of our nannies were trained by professionals in England. Your little darlings are our priority. If they act up, they'll be punished properly. None of this time out or go sit in the corner business. We'll bring your children up in the classic English manner by making them learn Latin and beating them half to death in a single sex environment. Discipline gave us an empire. What's more important, your happiness or your children's future? Call Hampshire Nannies today. Say it with me. I need a nanny. I'll bang the nanny. That's right. You need a nanny. Hampshire Nanny. Can't you have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you just go buy your vegetables at the grocery store then, you sycophant? God, I just don't understand people. You go to hell. Well, screw you too, Mom. See if you're ever on the show again. Next caller, hell. Yeah, what's that plant that blooms every 12 years? Is it for high and smells like hell? I want to plant one on my ex-wife's lawn. It's called Amorphophallus titanium. God, I love to say that. Amorphophallus titanium. Sound of it gives me a redwood in my khakis. If I come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. It's Amorphophallus titanium, the rare botanical wonder. See his eight-foot protrusion as he pollinates on everyone. But why does it think so bad? It's about marking your territory, my man. You don't mark your territory, do you? You should try it. Pee on the front door of your office. Just see if anybody thinks they're coming near you. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try that. Thank you. Tell you, once you've flown first class, you know, it sucks to take the bus again. Explosion is hanging from the tree. This accident is really cool. WCTR. That's why I got all these addictions. Bring my next vegetarian guy. Hello? Uh, hey, it's me, Jonathan. I, I don't know a Jonathan. Yeah, that's the name they gave me at the orphanage after you put me up for adoption. How could you give me away? Bring the family together again. San Andreas Telephone for those difficult conversations. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's The Wild Traveler. Next. Hello, I'm James Batiste, world traveler, and this is The Wild Traveler. From Peru to San Andreas in eight days by the moon, often while lounging around garden parties, we forget the brave workers worldwide who toil day and night for the products we consume. Some are even so dedicated to our happiness they carry products and balloons shoved inside themselves to be a balloon, floating, mesmerizing. We go to the phones. Yes, we do. I can't believe you actually recommended we go to Barbados on our honeymoon. It was revolting. There were poor people. I live in Vinewood to be away from poor people. Barbados is lovely. Look, I want to be very clear. I'm not racist. Just careful. Okay. I like all-inclusive resorts where you can drink as much as you want, be around other people from San Andreas, and the only interaction you have with the locals is if you need a cocktail or, or some spice in the bedroom with your husband. Well, that sounds lovely. With people like you, it's no wonder we don't bother curing cancer. Next caller, you're on the wild traveler. Yeah, it's fun that you go on and on about other countries, but you live here. America rules you, commie. Eat me. Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. I'm so sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're all alcoholics. At least we drink a 24-pack in private instead of hanging out in some social setting making a fool of ourselves. People say it's so civilized in Europe. They got thousands of years of history. Well, I saw a movie about Europe once and I was disgusted.
disgusted. I mean, people still defecate in their living rooms and cover it up with dirt like a cat. You can't find a decent toilet anywhere or a good chicken wing. And the strippers? <laughs> Overcharge. Good Lord, you're Philistine. You should stay out of England. I hear there is a casino in Venturas that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Do you want culture? Or do you want safety? It's your choice. Personally, I want irrigation of the colonic variety. But that's a whole different story, and it is early. Let's go to the phones. Who's on the phones? No one. Come on, call up. Anyone? <laughs> it wouldn't be like this in Peru, I can tell you. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting on my lap. Not because I paid them. They wanted to be there. Or in Mali, where nobody knows what a phone is, and a lot of people have never even heard of plastic surgery or the Glory Hole theme park. There, the Glory Holes aren't theme parks, I can tell you. It's violent and bloody and authentic. What are you scared of? You wimps! Give me a call! Someone! Please! Hello, you're on Wild Traveler. Where are you? I'm on a cliff. How romantic. I want to jump. I know what you mean. Jump into the unknown. How can it be a sin if it feels good? Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you there? Where are you? Kenya? No, I'm in Verdant Bluff. Loathsome place. I'd jump if I were you. I want to go to hell. Me too. Buy a refrigerator magnet when you get there. On with the show. Any callers? No? Okay, maybe I should hit the travel log again. This is from my diary in Sri Lanka. For a few rupees a day, I have employed the services of a young man who has been my guide and pleasure as well as travel. There is something very exotic about him, Avrinda. He could be a boy, but like many locals, in certain lights, he looks just like a little girl. He is a real minx who knows exactly what he is doing to me. Oh, wrong page. Here we are. Avrinda took me deep into jungle. And there we took part in an ancient rite of passage for adolescents on the cusp of adulthood. We hunted each other in game very similar to the ancient games of Kiss Chase I used to play. No! Wrong page! Abrinda has left me. I'm broken. I thought I meant something. But it seems he would rather become a fisherman than follow me in an exotic life of degeneracy and narcotics as my houseboy. I hate myself. Why does this keep happening to me? Hell! Wrong bit again! Where's the page about watching the elephants mate? And it being really disturbing and making me slightly jealous for both parties. Hey! Has someone been stealing pages out of my journal? My producer is jealous. He keeps stealing my stuff and lending it to people. Just last week I had him saying government agents wanted to look at it. What a load of trash. Ah, we have a call, finally. I just want to tell people about a great holiday. You mean vacation? We call it vacation. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas? Learning to play an alpine horn? Hunting for pythons in Africa? No, Canada. But what about a young man to peel grapes? What about fine local herbs? Hey, it's cheap and it's plentiful. Well, apart from the rent boy. And what about the food poisoning? What about the starving beggars? What about the political instability and the chance to eat insects? I don't want foreign. Have you seen the news lately? Philistine. Well, if you want exotic, go to Hawaii. They still trade in beads there and ride planks rather than motorboats. Time for me to head south again. On the next show, we'll be discussing Amsterdam, Paradise Regained, Morocco, Spooky Smoke. Until next time, travel safe. Ciao, Bella. I'm James Pudiston, and this has been The Wild Traveler. That was funny. This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler. See you next time. Bring a cooler full of beers and get ready to riot. This has been the Tight End Zone. And this is WCTR, proving that radio is better than TV. That's the show men with large guts love. Even if we received a cease and desist. Let's head over to the newsroom. Leanne Forge, WCTR News, reporting what the morning memo tells us to. Pornography in preschool, a sickening shortage. And shiny compact discs turning your children into killers. Plus...